I just take some paints and run out for half an hour. Every day. Astrology sheet said as she stepped on my instep. I could show you New York with their walk between 4th Street and 9. Then out of a coach. I don't love this street. The street's a little gritty. It's terrible. On a doorstep. Saying, come back to my place, I will show you the stars. And oh, it's a good story. Okay. I've been here about six years, mm -hmm. and I've been across the street from the U-Haul guy, right. Butch. Right. And I've rented U-Hauls, and I know him, and we say hi. Mm -hmm. And I've been tagging his gate. I've been tagging his gate. Just in the park, getting late, thinking there's no one looking. Degrees and I'm down on my knees in Brooklyn. We really didn't know it was me. I came back, I hadn't been here all summer this September, and I noticed they had cut a piece out of the gate. And I was like, that's weird, I wonder why they did that. And in the back of my mind, I thought, oh, they, there must have been the, some the tag on it, and they wanted to keep it. And I was like, no, there's no way. So it turns out that some people that rented the U-Haul told him that this thing I did on the gate was worth something, so he cut it out. So then he looked me up on Google, and he's like, oh my god, this is the, my, the guy across the street. Because we didn't know. So then the next morning, I had tagged it again because it was very, um, it was just sitting there white for a few days, and I'm right across the street, so it got my window. And then he comes walking over towards me, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm, in, I'm busted. This is it, you know? He, obviously, so I thought he was going to be mad and then he asked me, he says, can you sign this thing? And it's 80 degrees and I'm down on my knees in Brooklyn. But that's a big piece, I thought you meant like a little square or something. No, he cut a big piece out. Oh, see shit. Like my thing behind the mattress <laughs> and then a bunch but of But it's funny, stuff. so then I said, oh yeah, sure, I'll sign it. And also, if you want, I'll paint the whole gate for you. And he's like, great. So that's what's going on. That's really And awesome, because it's across man. the street, I decided to do it instead of like making it like a marathon where I have to do it all in like three days and I kill myself. <laughs> I just like do one a day. And it's one color a day. So it's kind of like a one Flintstone vitamin a day. I add to it. And then I take a picture of it each time. And it's very cool because it comes together like a puzzle. And I post it every day on Instagram, the one a day and Facebook. It's a little project I made up for myself. So, I mean, are you doing other projects as well? Or? I did another mural, a very kind of large one on Lower East Side last little, month. Okay. Little, thank you. That was last month. And uh, so I'm doing lots of murals. All right, well, I don't want to keep it. No, you're not keeping it. Oh, no, I haven't finished this. Oh, you're still going to work some more. Well, yeah, I, I can't leave it undone. I never have. Uh, Taking seven harmonicas, she sat down to play on a doorstep, saying, Come back to my place, I will show you the stars and the signs. So I followed her into the black lands, where the window frames peel and flake, and the old Jewish face behind the lace, even I'm trying to get to see what's cooking. Just John the Baptist in the park getting late Thinking there's no one looking And it's 80 degrees and I'm down on my knees exactly. in Brooklyn I'm continuing the blue